Well, tonight, some brand new images of Titanic as an Everett-based team sets out to document the entire wreck for the first time ever. The Ocean Gate Expedition Team says the ship is rapidly deteriorating. Mission 4 is just wrapping up in what is expected to be a multi-year expedition. Before they left for the Atlantic, I caught up with a couple of the mission specialists who know a thing or two about exploration. It's a dream finally realized after years of setbacks, exploring the most famous shipwreck on the planet. Everyone around the world knows the Titanic and the fact that it's 12,800 feet beneath the ocean and really inaccessible. It's sort of the, uh, the Everest of, of submersible diving. Former NASA astronaut Scott Perzinski loves exploration. Astronaut Scott Kaparazinski is starting to install the hardware that was built on board the station. With five shuttle missions under his belt, including a trip aboard Shuttle Discovery with John Glenn and several spacewalks like this one in 2007 to repair solar panels outside the International Space Station, we're gonna apply a little force. he is always looking for adventure. I'm driven to uh, go to places that are difficult to reach that really involve commitment. Perzinski has been committed to Ocean Gate for more than a decade. His wife, Dr. Mina Wadwa, or Minnie, will be along for the ride as well. She too is a space junkie of sorts. You've probably heard about NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars right now exploring and collecting rocks. Well, she's in charge of making sure the mission to bring them back to Earth goes smoothly so we can learn more about the red planet. Robotic exploration is incredible at being able to do that, but the human experience is something that's totally different and being able to see it with your own eyes is going to be transformational. They are joined by mission specialists who are getting a rare opportunity. You have the pilot back here. These screens would normally be tilted in. As OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush looks to make this an annual tradition. There's so many things underwater to explore and by taking people to the Titanic and getting awareness of what can be done underwater, I hope we'll get a cadre of mission specialists that say, look, I want to go every year. And so they have one more week of dives for the season, shooting video, scanning the wreck with sonar and laser. The goal is to make a precise 3D image of Titanic to better track the ship's decay. By the way, Perzinski tweeted about his experience, calling it an extraordinary dive into the abyss and said it was very sobering to remember all the lives that were lost there.